Hey there guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at a game. It's been out a while actually and I've only just got around to playing it so I'm going to show you from a few beginning levels first of all. It's called Heart Maze and it's a puzzle game. So we're going to start here so you can see how to play it. And basically, it, this sounds really good if, if you play it with headphones. So as you can see you've got a little character there and all you need to do to move him left and right you use these two arrows here and to make him jump you just use the button on the right hand side. And you're in a little puzzle and this puzzle is a cube, like so. And all you've got to do is get yourself around this cube and get to this door here. Now you need the key to unlock it to get out, so what you've got to do is go across and find it. So that's what we're going to do now. This is right at the beginning of the game. And as you can see, once you walk around this cube, it will spin round. And you've just got to figure out where the key is and make sure you don't fall to your death in the meantime. So there it is. So go and collect that and then once you've got the key you can make your way to the door. So you go back, figure out where it is, make sure you don't fall on those spikes because you will die and have to start all over again. And then get to the end of the level. And that's all you do for each one, you just get the key, get to the door and out you go like this. It's very eerie, I absolutely love the um, voices and sounds for this. And as I say it sounds really good if you listen to it with your headphones on as well. So there we can see the key is up there. We can't get there, obviously we're going to go this way first of all. Make sure I don't die. Maybe me will. And just be careful when you go around each side, just to make sure that you don't actually fall to your death as you're going round. Right, where is it? Oh, there it is up there. I can see it. So you can plan ahead and then grab it. So there it is. And um, I'll go back this way, I think, now. I can't remember which way. Can I go that way? I don't think I can, can I? Nope, so I have to go back this way. Okay, we'll go back this way if you insist. Wick the way around. Oh no! Can't believe I died. I'd got the key as well then. Never mind. Let's go back quickly and get this. It's because I'm talking and playing at the same time as usual. But yeah, it's been out a while this game. I've just not got round to playing it. Um, they, play, they did another game as well. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Lit the Torch or something like that. It's the same developers who did that game, which is another really cool game. Right, so let's try not die this time. Let's take it slowly. Go slow. Baby steps. <laughs> Ooh. I can't remember where the door is now. Oh no, I didn't want to go that way, did I? Oh yes I did, yes I did. Phew, I thought I'd fallen to my death in the wrong place, but I hadn't. And there we have it, the door's open, waiting for me to go in. And that is basically all you do. You work your way through the levels. As I said, this is the beginning level, so you can see it's nice and challenging from the start as well and some of them you're falling down like this one you're going downwards as well as across so just be careful that you don't land on anything that you shouldn't <laughs> hopefully i'm not going to fall to any spikes here and then again you're just finding the key oh look at that oh no she didn't move quick enough you're finding the key and then just getting to the end of the level and that is all you do and i think it's 99p or 59p i can't quite remember actually what the price is but it's a paid app but it's definitely worth it, it's a good game and nice and challenging, there's plenty of puzzles in there as well for you, so check it out and if you do let me know what you think in the comments below thanks for watching guys, bye for now